Okay, great. Hi, um, my name is Buzz Waitskin, and my wife Gibby and I have lived here in Floyd for the last 20 years. Uh, for a long time, this was really a vacation place for us when we lived in Washington, D.C., but we moved down here really full-time 10 years ago. And for the last six years, though, I've been um, working at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina, and I've been commuting back and forth. And when I was up here, it became very problematic. Our DSL service was linked to our telephone service um, through Citizens. And literally, if I was on a Zoom call and the telephone rang, I would get one of those messages. I forgot exactly what it was, but your internet service has become unstable. When we found out that we were able to um, get fiber uh, and that we were able, somehow Gibby was able to persuade them to put us on a priority list for doing it, um, we were able to get fiber into the house and actually two separate outbuildings that we have on the property, we have three separate accounts. So that once that happened, we had amazing flexibility. But I think our download speed went from something like six or seven, which was pretty slow. And when I checked it this morning for this interview, I think it was close to 400. So we're operating at you know, 50, 60, 70 times the speed and the same um, ratio with upload speed. So the ability to be on uh, an internet meeting, um, the ability to be downloading data, to be looking at images for Gibby and her artwork, to be moving complicated photographs with lots of pixels around has become something that's almost automatic. And um, so it's been great for us. And I wouldn't be able to do the work that I do uh, without the fiber system. The, the fact that we've got fiber and we've got this really rapid internet access has really changed our lives in many ways. Number one, I have basically been full time in the mountains since last March. Whereas before that, I would be getting in my car every Sunday or early Monday morning to drive back down to Durham and coming back up here on Thursday and Friday. And because of the access to Zoom and other things and the unfortunate fact that we have no choices, I've basically been able to do my entire job, both administratively and teaching, while here. So I've been able to be here, enjoy being in Floyd. You know, every morning I get to walk around and stare at the stars and the planets, which are in a very interesting position this time of year. And I get to do the same thing every night before I go to sleep. So I'm really much more connected to the world I'm actually living in than I would be if I was driving back.